Among the agencies that could see a significant budget cut is the National Park Service, and that could have a serious impact on some of our area's most iconic locations. Candace Gibson joins us now from one of those monuments in Arlington. Candace? And Leon, I should tell you that Park Service officials are taking the possibility of sequestration very seriously. In fact, they released a statement today saying that the public should be prepared for reduced hours and services at many popular locations. Those storm clouds that moved over Great Falls today, perhaps an omen of dark days ahead for this national park with the possibility of looming budget cuts in the air. Great Falls is part of John Morris's daily routine. That would be really sad, you know, for someone who, like me who loves just to walk around in nature. Sequestration, the massive budget cuts that go into effect in 10 days, calls for the reduction of more than $100 million in funding for the National Park Service, including Great Falls. The impact will be felt particularly hard in Washington, D.C.'s National Parks land. The budget to maintain many popular tourist destinations would be cut $1.6 million. You know, people's jobs at stake and livelihoods and your country needs us. Organizers of the Cherry Blossom Festival worry the cuts 20 days before kickoff could impact some of the tree maintenance, law enforcement and other park services needed for the three-week event. Not everyone feels badly about the pandemic in cuts. I, I think the bulk of our national parks are probably better off in private hands or state hands. An unwelcome prospect for many of those like Morris who use the hundreds of other national parks. It can only go down in terms of its physical beauty if and you have to lay off rangers and things like that. And back to the Cherry Blossoms Festival, I spoke with the executive director today who was saying that she's still waiting to find out if and what impact sequestration could have on the event come next month. In the meantime, she says that the Blossom Festival will happen with a million people here, whether or not sequestration happens. Reporting from Arlington, Candace Gibson, ABC 7 News.